In this video, I want to update you on the latest developments with the Kill 'em All Mini, which has been seriously upgraded from the previous version of the app uh, within the last few days. And I want to go over that really quickly. If you're new to Kill 'em All and Kill 'em All Mini specifically, Kill 'em All Mini is a panic button with an Ask Questions Later attitude. It's designed to identify and terminate all non essential running programs on your computer, leaving only what's the bare minimum for Windows to be running. This is great for quickly closing unwanted apps, system inspection, and even malware removal. The previous versions of Kill 'em All Mini did Nothing but kill programs. It didn't show you what was terminated. It didn't generate a log file. It didn't offer you any other options. It just killed programs and it did it silently. It didn't even tell you when the program was finished. So let's take a look at the new Kill 'em All Mini. I'm just going to go ahead and run this as a standard user, which is not an option with our full featured Kill 'em All. Running as a standard user is sort of safe in that it can't run, uh, it cannot terminate programs that are running under the administrator or local system accounts. Okay, now as you can see, we have a printout now of exactly what was terminated and what was not terminated. You can see at the top we're running as a standard user right here. And we have several options at the bottom where we can press L to generate a long file. We can press A to run as administrator or any other key to exit. So I'm going to hit L and you can see it's we've got log saved and I've had a log file appear on the desktop. Now we've got any other key to run as administrator or I'm sorry press A to run as administrator or any other key to exit. I'm going to go ahead and run as administrator just to show you we can kill more apps and we have yet another feature we can run now as a trusted installer. So if you're already running as administrator, you can hit T and it will run as trusted installer. This will bypass file system and security permissions for tons of things. Most specifically, it will enable us to terminate processes that are running under the trusted installer account or system account that don't give us access under the normal admin account. And you can see once we finished here, we still have that log file option. So I'll press L. And now that there's nothing else to do, it'll just automatically show you the log file. And you can see in our log, what I've got here is everything that was terminated with a full path. You can see that the full paths are really too long to display on the screen in the regular readout. So we just display the, the file name only but the full path is going to be present in the log file. Now I also want to show you that if you want to run straight from trusted installer mode what you can do is run as administrator and hold the shift button down when you press yes on the UAC prompt and you'll notice up here our very first run we have running as trusted installer so that's going to take you straight to the most powerful mode of kill them all if you hold down the shift button. But there's another neat feature that uh, holding down a button will help you with. If you want to use kill them all in debug mode, hold down the control key. When you use control key, you'll start in debug mode. What debug mode does is it asks you if you want to terminate each process that it finds. Now you have a yes or no prompt and yes is default. So you can hit Y or you can just hit enter and it'll terminate these processes. And you will see it'll tell you below, did it terminate the process or not, et cetera, et cetera. You'll see we have full path names when we're asking you about terminating these processes individually just because we want you to know exactly what's running exactly where when you're making that decision. Now, if you choose no, it'll just skip the process and it won't terminate it, leaving it running. Once we're complete, you have your option to generate a log file again or, of course, run in your other modes as administrator, etc., etc. If you generate a log file, it will show you the log with only the apps that you've chosen to terminate. But what about scripting? you say. Okay, we have scripting options with the new Kill'em All. 
and the new kill them all instead of pausing for the prompt you want the in a script you probably want kill them all to run right away so to run kill them all automatically without prompt we have two options you can run kill them all many slash auto and that'll run without prompt that does nothing but automatically run i'll just delete this log file so you can watch kill them all slash log runs automatically and generates that log file. You can also use come on slash log equals. You want to wrap this in quotes. You can use a file name dot text or you can use a full path. It doesn't really matter. If you use just the file name dot text, it will create that file in the same directory as kill them all many. So that about does it for kill them all many. If you have any questions or, uh, better yet, any suggestions, uh, shoot us an email. Send it to service at d7xtech.com and we'll check it out. Thanks for watching.